Survive wild animal attacks with these 12 steps. There's no getting around it. Wild animals do attack humans. This could be because they feel threatened when protecting their territory, family, or themselves, or they may view you as lunch. Unfortunately, most people are not trained on how to protect themselves when an animal attacks, causing some encounters to be fatal. However, it is important to see the statistics of wild animal attacks as many of these are exaggerated. For instance, on average, sharks only cause about five deaths per year. Wolves only cause eight deaths per year and lions at 20 per year. On the other side of the spectrum though, adorable elephants cause about 600 deaths per year, as do hippopotamus, whereas crocodiles kill about 1,000 and the snake at 100,000 people per year. With that said, here are some tips on how to protect yourself if you find yourself in an encounter with a wild animal. Jellyfish. Unfortunately, it's really hard to avoid getting stung or burned by a jellyfish as they are often hard to see in water. However, if you do find yourself with a jellyfish burn, immediately wash the area with salt water. Do not use pure water as it will only make the burn and ache from it worse. If possible, use tweezers to remove any of the needles from the stung region and then spread antihistamine ointment onto the burn. Sharks. Out of 150 shark species that exist, only about 20 of them will actually attack a human. Most of them will not see you as lunch. However, if a shark does become interested in you, you will need to know how to break away. The first thing is to never turn your back on a shark and do not try to move in a panicked fashion as they will then perceive you as prey. Make sure to move slowly and do not allow blood or urine to get into the water. If you do get caught by a shark, punch at its eyes and gills as these regions are extremely sensitive. Kangaroos. Kangaroos can be dangerous to a human if you enter their territory and make them feel threatened. Otherwise, just stay away from kangaroos that show aggression. To avoid a conflict with one, cough quietly and make your coughs short in duration. This tricks the kangaroo into thinking that you have a disease. Then slowly back away from the kangaroo, making yourself smaller and less of a threat. Do not panic and turn your back to run. It'll easily catch up with you due to its high velocity jumps. Large cats and lions. Although it's rare for you to encounter a large cat like lion, if you do, make sure to maintain eye contact and stay facing the animal. By doing this, it lowers the chance of the lion attacking you in the moments that you are distracted. Doing this will make lions think that you are stronger than him. You should also be confident when facing a lion so that it perceives your presence as irritating. Elephants. Elephants are well known for attacking people, especially if you encounter a female elephant who is a mother as it will perceive you as a threat to its babies. If you are close to an elephant, make note of what their body language is saying. If they pull their ears back and curl their trunk, it means that they view you as a threat and are going to attack. If this happens, don't run, but do try to find a barrier or cover, like a tree or stone, to help put space between the elephant and yourself. Rhinoceroses. Rhinoceroses don't have good eyesight, which means that they are super easy to provoke by just frightening them. You cannot outrun a rhinoceros because they can reach an upward speed of up to 40 miles per hour. So the best way to get away from one is to hide yourself either in high grass or bushes or behind a tree. Bulls. Despite the misconception that bulls react to red colors, they instead react to movement. So if you find yourself in the path of a charging bull, don't run and instead stay still. If you have a hat or other clothes, use them as a way to bait the bull away to one side of you. When the bull gets close to you, throw the garment away from yourself so that the bull changes direction. Alligators or Crocodiles Alligators or crocodiles have the strongest jaws on the planet, so breaking free once you are bit is near impossible. If you do get bit, then aim for their throat and eyes, as these are the animal's most sensitive regions. If the animal is in the water with you, do not shout or make noise, and do not splash the water, as this draws attention towards you. Swim away as quietly as possible and make for land. Snakes The majority of snake bites, about 90%, come when people try to catch these reptiles. Fortunately, a large portion of the snake population is not dangerous or poisonous. If a snake does follow you, make sure to stomp your feet hard on the ground, as the vibrations these stomps make will cause confusion. If you do get bit, do not suck the venom out of the wound, as it does no good as the fangs are curved. Instead, rinse the bite with water, apply a strap to slow the spread of the poison, and immediately call the emergency line. Bears 
Although bears do not usually attack people, it can happen if you are in the wrong location at the wrong time. A good way to survive a bear attack is to be prepped with their behavioral rules. Do not run as this makes you look like prey and causes the bear's instincts to kick in, allowing them to run upwards of 30 miles per hour. Instead, drop to the ground slowly and curl up into a ball and play dead. The bear may still be curious and bat you around, but the key is to not panic and do not allow yourself to be perceived as a threat. Once the bears drop their interest, play dead for a while afterwards as they will stick around to watch you. Gorillas Gorillas are well known for being the leaders of their land and they will protect their family at all costs. If you behave submissively by whispering, sitting down, avoiding direct eye contact, and making yourself smaller, they are less likely to attack you. If they do go to attack you or even approach you, sit and bend your body as this makes you appear weak. Gorillas tend not to attack those who are defenseless or appear weak. Bees Bees will always protect their hive, so if you walk by, your chance of getting stung are pretty high. If you are wearing dark clothing, the bees will be attracted to it. Try to wear light-colored clothing if you know that you will be in areas where there might be beehives. If you find yourself being followed by bees, move to a dark place as this throws off their sense of you due to the lack of lighting. If you ever do find yourself in one of the above encounters, you now have some knowledge about the behavioral rules of each animal to protect yourself out in the wild. Although you may not come out unscathed, you might be able to survive. Just remember that the above tips are some behavioral rules of each animal. Remember that you should never put yourself at risk. These animals are dangerous and you should try to avoid getting close to their territory at all times. So do not even get close to sharks, lions, or crocodiles. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more videos.